went uh, simply because I uh, decided to. I, I don't have any particular literary talent. I just like hearing all of your terrible stories. Um, so we're gonna get started. I will start things off. How many people were here uh, besides Sunny and Mike? How many people were here last year? And Doug and okay, so a few. All right. Well, this is gonna sound familiar then because I didn't write anything new. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, Gork versus Adolf Spacler. <laughs> Book two of the Gorgilogy. The dust settled as the USS Super Freedom set down on Space Argentina. Its ramp extending as its outer door opened. Psh, it said. Gorg stepped out of the airlock. They said this air would be breathable, sang a familiar voice over the external speaker. He wasn't sure why he liked listening to that song when stepping onto a dangerous new planet. The M dwarf star above bathed this one in an ultraviolet light, making it look like a landscape from a velvet Elvis painting. <laughs> Except this painting wanted to rip out his spleen and boil his dude juices. Which wasn't how paintings normally worked. Wait for me, Gorg, called his companion, rolling down the ramp after him on several of his appendages. It was Shazbot, a beach ball sized sentient robot covered in dozens of sex appendages of every size and species. Gorg had rescued it from the sex minds of Volbo Prime in an adventure from the first book. I told you not to call me that, Gorg said gorgly. Shazbot, the half-Jewish sex robot, paused. Oh right, they're half-Jewish, that's important later. <laughs> Fine, said Shazbot, several space dildos sagging in resignation. Wait for me, it mocked. Gorgonzola. The character formerly known as Gorg sighed. Why do you make everything so hard? No such thing is too hard in my line of work, quips Swatch Shazbot. Stop trying to flirt with me. You wish, meat man. You're not my type. You know I sexually identify as a non-Newtonian flu non fluid. Gross, Gork gorjected. Prude, said Shazbot. The daily pleasantries concluded, the pair headed off to the west. Out there, somewhere beyond the nerf caves and the upside-down lava falls, was their greatest enemy but also the greatest prize, the legendary jewel-encrusted crown of Xanax the Calm, worth six billion space bucks. That would let Gork finally pay off his debt to Galactic Emperor Reagan. He could give up space adventuring for good and follow his dream to be a space librarian. Yes. Thank you.